So, what are some of the best premium HTs for 2023? Let's take a look. Hi, and welcome to the Gadget Talk channel, where we do reviews and how-tos on a variety of electronic gadgets that catch my eye. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel. I really appreciate it. After slowdowns due to the pandemic and chip shortages in the early 2020s, 2023 has seen the floodgates open when it comes to new amateur handheld transmitters or HTs. As I mentioned in my budget HT video, I originally planned on a single video covering the 2023 HT market, but quickly gave up on that, deciding to do one each on budget HTs and another on premium HTs. In this video, we'll be looking at nine higher priced HTs that were either recently released or continue to get good marks in the premium category. This includes digital HTs as they dominate the market in this segment. There are just a handful of analog FM dual band HTs in this category. That's primarily because the budget market is where most non-digital HTs reside. Several of the models in this price range have been around a long time, so I've not included them in this list. These include the Yaesu FT4X, the FT60, and the FT65. Also excluded are a couple of similarly situated single-band ICOM HTs. On the other hand, there are a bunch of digital mode radios that fall into this category. Chinese manufacturers have come up with a number of digital radios in the DMR mode. System Fusion and D-Star are both proprietary protocols, so their availability is mostly brand-specific. More on that in a minute. A couple of characteristics of HTs in the premium category are as follows. First, most have color screens. As with color screens in the budget category, they can get washed out in bright sunlight, but when shaded, they have good color and sometimes pre-programmed color schemes and nice fonts. Another common but not universal feature is that premium radios are USB rechargeable. That means you don't have to worry about special cables or forgetting the charge cradle at home. Premium radios, especially the analog models, often have a number of receive bands, including air band. They also have more than two transmit bands. For example, the Oshan KG Q10H we'll be looking at in a minute is a quad band radio with 6 meter, 2 meter, 1.25 meter, and 70 centimeter transmit capability. These analog radios often have cross band repeater capability as well. Digital radios in the premium category are often from well regarded Japanese manufacturers. This is especially true for Yesu System Fusion or YSF and D Star protocols. Only Yesu supports YSF and only ICOM and Kenwood support D Star. Currently, Kenwood does not have an offering in this category, although they have shown a new model. It isn't released yet, unfortunately. In the DMR world, there are lots of choices and a variety of price points. Because of these various offerings, DMR radios tend to fall in the lower price range of this premium category. One of the things to look for when choosing a DMR radio is the size of its memories. DMR radios have three components to their channel databases and each has the need for separate memories. You'll want to take note of the radio's channel memories, talk group memories, and its user memories. Lower cost DMR radios often have user memories that are much smaller than the current worldwide total user database, which is currently at about 250,000 DMR users. This is important because the radio will display user info for those in the radio's database. This includes their name and country. 
Both analog and digital radios in the premium category will also likely have GPS receivers to provide accurate location data as well as APRS capabilities. APRS will allow you to broadcast your location or to send and receive short messages. Budget class radios are adding GPS to their feature sets, but few actually add APRS. First on our list are a couple of analog only radios the Ochon KG UV9 Mate and other KG UV9 series radios are full-feature dual-band HTs. The Mate has an output of 10 watts and is cross-band repeater capable. It also has seven receive bands, including the air band. The Mate has dual receivers, a color screen, and 999 memory channels, in addition to the typical features found on ham HTs. The other radios in this series vary slightly in terms of features, so be sure to compare versions to ensure you get the feature set that's most important to you. These radios are in the $160 range. Another radio from Oshan is the new KG-Q10H. Coming in at about $220, the Q10H is a quad-band radio with transmit capabilities in the 6, 2, 1.25 meter, and 70 centimeter bands. It also has receive bands, including air band, and a GPS receiver that allows sharing location data with other Q10 radio users. It includes NOAA weather channels and weather alerts, as well as an IP67 ingress protection score, which means it's dustproof and can survive freshwater submersion in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes. It also comes with a bright color screen with both custom and preset color schemes. Like the KG UV9 Mate, it's also crossband repeater capable and USB-C rechargeable. Next on the list is a radio I just got my hands on. It's the RA89HT radio from Redivus. The RA89 is priced at about $80 to $89, so it's right at the transition point from budget to premium category. In fact, I included in my 2023 Best Budget HT radios. The radio has an impressive IP68 ingress protection score, 10 watt power rating, USB-C charging, and wireless channel cloning. It has all the usual ham HT features and menu settings and includes FM broadcast receive and is chirp programmable. One item that sets the RA89 apart from the crowd is its noise reduction circuitry on the mic side of your transmissions. This feature separates your voice from the background noise and only allows your voice to pass. This technology has been part of cell phone for years, but hasn't been widely included on ham HTs. We're now going to transition into the digital mode HTs. There are three primary digital modes, and of course, they're not compatible. The three modes we'll look at are DMR, System Fusion, and D-Star. First is DMR. There are a lot of choices in the DMR market that cover a wide price range. This is due primarily to the fact that DMR is an open system. These radios are primarily made in China. The Anytone ATD 878UV2 Plus, that's quite a mouthful, is the current latest version of this old favorite. I've had my D878 for several years. Newer versions have increased the number of user memories to keep up with the growth of DMR users, along with some other handy feature and improvements. The 878 does both 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands, does APRS, and has some handy Bluetooth accessories. It normally sells for about $320. Very similar to the UV878 is the Radiotity GD88 DMR radio. It can be had for about $219. The GD88 is a 7 watt radio with nice color screen and an IP54 ingress protection score. That means it resists dust particles and splashing water. 
Like the UV878, it's a dual band HT that can handle both analog FM and DMR transmissions. It will also do APRS and cross band repeat functions. Its user memory is 300,000, so it will hold all the current DMR users around the world. I've not used the GD88, but reviews have been good. Now, Let's shift gears and move into System Fusion or C4FM radios. System Fusion is a Yaesu proprietary system, so not surprisingly, the two radios in this category are both Yaesu models. The Yaesu FT70D HT is Yaesu's entry-level digital HT. I have one of these, and they can be had for about $175. The FT70D is both analog and digital capable and is able to deal with C4FM and Wires X signals. As with other Yaesu radios, it has the automatic mode select feature that switches the radio to match the received signal. It also has the digital ID and group mode function. I mainly use mine with a hotspot to access the Yaesu digital environment. It's a fairly small radio that has good audio quality. Yesu's top-of-the-line HT is the FT5D. At about $430, it's one of the most expensive HTs in the ham market. For that premium price, you get a very solidly built, high-quality HT with all of Yesu's bells and whistles. This includes 2-meter and 70-centimeter analog FM capability, C4 and Wires X digital modes, and the automatic mode select and group ID features I mentioned on the FT70. The FT5D has IPX7 ingress protection score. The X simply signifies that the dust rating isn't specified. Along with the solid IP score, the FT5D includes a GPS receiver with APRS capability and has Bluetooth accessories for hands-free operation. The FT5D power output is 5 watts. I don't have one of these radios, but it makes the list based on my experience with other Yesu products, its feature set, and other online reviews. If you're looking for CF4FM, these are your choices. Now, let's transition to the world of ICOM and D-Star Digital Mode. My D-Star radio is the now discontinued ID31AHT. ICOM has recently released two D-Star radios that look very nice. I haven't used them, so their inclusion on this list is based on my experience with the ID31, online reviews, and ICOM's excellent reputation in the market. First is the ICOM 50A. Coming in at $400, the ID50 is a new entry-level D-Star model. It handles both D-Star and analog FM on the 2-meter and 70-centimeter bands. It includes several advanced D-Star features not found on my older ID31. These include text messaging between D-Star radios, photo sharing, and access point mode when paired with a PC or Android device. Basic HT features include dual watch receive, airband receive, a GPS receiver, newbie friendly operations, and USB C charging. ICOM's top of the line D Star HT is the new ID52A. It clocks in at about $650, which makes it the highest priced HT in this list. The ID52A has nearly all the same features we just mentioned on the ID50A. Additionally, the ID52A comes with some enhanced D-Star features, a color screen, and a very nice overall build quality. Neither ICOM radios do APRS, but they do have GPS receivers that allows for a neat feature that allows you to see nearby D-Star repeaters when you're traveling. Again, if you're looking for D-Star, these are your choices. They are a bit pricey, but ICOM is known for producing very fine radios. Well, there you have it. My best of 2023 premium ham HT selections. Join me over here 
for my list of best budget ham HTs and GMRS HTs for 2023. Thanks for watching and 73.